Welcome everyone to June 2nd, Penfield Trails 2021 meeting here at the Penfield Town Auditorium. By the way, this is our last meeting until September 8th, Wednesday in the fall. We have our agenda ready and the first thing we do on our agenda, and the supervisors in the room, is listen to excellent Eleanor's minutes by reading them and approving them. So while we take a, a two minute perusal, I wanna mention some things about hiking this summer. Mosquitoes are coming out right now, folks. Mm -hmm. So it's important to pick, pick out your most potent repellent with the least amount of volume and place it strategically on your skin. And, but don't put too much on. Put it on sparingly, making sure it's a powerful brand. The other thing is, tick season is all year long, but especially it passes well in the summer because the deer are very active. Best way to avoid ticks is stay on the trail, don't bushwhack. Second thing, tuck in your pants into your socks. And then third thing, after a long, maybe sweaty hike, take a shower or a bath and make sure there aren't any of those little things hooked into you. Anybody want to approve our minutes from May 5th? Uh, a correction on the minutes, uh, it's Harwood Circle, and I don't think mm -hmm. there's an easement in place yet. That hasn't been verified. Thank you, Ed. Any I'll other notice? Ed, I'll uh, move to approve. All right, we have one, a second, please. Second. Think about the Saldi. Uh, we move to the active committee discussion time. We review our May 8th Harris Whalen Park hike. It was cool and misty. And I managed to get 11 interested hikers around to look at the wonders of wildflowers, old beech trees, old oak trees. And we had a dis dissertation on blowdown of old trees that happens two ways. A microburst will hover above the woods like at Harris Whalen, send down 60 to 80 degree or 80 mile an hour winds, two things will happen. The tree will crack off at about six to eight feet or it will be uprooted. We have examples of both from past windstorms at Harris Whalen. And the trillium were out in force. <laughs> what we do uh, at the June meeting is we have to schedule and notify everybody. There are three hikes to be covered, June 12th, we are going to Four Mile Creek at the corner of Phillips Road and Lake Road. You can't go any farther, folks. You'll be in the lake. Mm -hmm. This is one of Webster's wonderful showcase parks with uh, well-appointed bridges and trails and a hill and dale up and down, woods and water flowing. It's a wonderful piece of habitat work, and we're going to go there, Lake and Phillips Road, June 12th, Saturday at 9 a.m. The next hike on our agenda is Abraham Lincoln Park at 9 a.m. July 10th. And uh, we're going to be chatting amongst our PTC staffers to make sure that one is covered with leadership. And then finally, I will take the lead on the August 14th Allison Park South Hike, which takes a big dive into Allison Park from Penfield Road, the trailhead, uh, and parking area is just west of Bob Gentle's vegetable and fruit stand. And I'll be taking that one August 14th. Uh, Eagle Scout projects update. We always make the appeal that we have some project ready uh, building uh, areas for boardwalks across the creek and kiosks to be built at trailheads. Um, is Andrew out there? Yeah, I'm here. Mm. Yes, you are. Andrew? Okay, one <laughs> other item that's an important. No thanks to me, but thanks to Andrew and Tim Mastron of Parks Director, uh, Eagle Scout Projects is complete. Andy, please tell us about it. Yep, so we had Carolyn Blair. Andrew, turn your mic on. Unmute. I should be unmuted. Can you hear me now? Still can't hear you, Andy. 
Okay, you should be able to hear him now. Okay, go ahead, Andy. Hear me now? We can. Yes. All right, so we had Carolyn Blair contact us, a uh, Girl Scout uh, doing a project, and she was looking to set up bee houses at a, at a park and put up some information. Uh, we looked at some different options, one being at um, Shadow Pines property that was a little cl too close to the trails and we didn't really know if that should go there with you know plans still in place for there. We looked at Sherwood Fields and it just didn't seem like a good habitat. And we finally found um, two locations at Rawfus Park. Uh, one location is on the northwest side of the park uh, in a patch of uh, trees, kind of tucked away, so it's out of view. It's supposed to be a good habitat. And then another one that's closer to the parking lot, um, right across um, from the new playground area kind of in the center of the of the park and it's put down uh, into some rocky area again away from people uh, not that the bees that are uh, going into these habitats should be stinging or doing anything like that but we thought it'd just be tucked away a little bit more uh, more for the bees sake uh, so people don't mess with them so projects all complete uh, Tim and the parks team uh, put them in the two locations and um, should be good to go. Thank you very much, Andrew. Uh, I'm glad to have that taken care of. Uh, media trails need report. I, uh, I'll, I'll the, give you a report on uh, the Rendequay Creek Trail uh, north and south of Browncroft Boulevard. Uh, I gave a copy of the report to uh, Fran. Uh, the kiosk uh, on Old Browncroft Boulevard will be probably where the map will be located. We have a brand new map that needs mounting. Uh, the trail just needs widening out a little bit uh, south of the, of the bridge, and a, a mode path needs to be established along uh, Route 286 uh, adjacent to the Pure Waters property to get to the trail that goes underneath the bridge. Uh, I think Fran is going to do a follow-up on that to make sure that gets done. Uh, trail seems to be in, in a lot of use, Fran. I think there's also a branch that needs to be trimmed according to the description on the on the pamphlet here. Okay. I'll take a look at that and get in touch with Tim if I need any assistance. Is this, are these the according pictures with this? Yeah, those are the pictures right. for that. Uh, just to mention, Ed's worked on this doggedly for five years to get the easements and get the survey in place. And we have a, Ed has all these pictures of the survey, multiple pictures of the trail that we've been working on for five years. And so, in other words, a, a free walk from North Allison Park underneath Route 286, Atlantic, Brown, uh, Browncroft Boulevard, Atlantic Avenue, whatever you want to call it. And then you can connect. Uh, with a, a short walk along around the Coit Creek up until Baker Commodities, and you can swerve right, go by the kiosk, and then head up over to the rifle range on Empire Boulevard. So it's like you can go now underneath 286 from Ellison Park, the right. and you will be greeted with a trail that will take you all the way, if you wish, to Empire Boulevard. And that's been five years in the making. Thank you very much, Ed, for working with the planning department on that one. Fran, one more thing on this. If you have any questions, contact Jim Costello because he worked out an agreement with the New York State DOT about the access to the trail uh, on their property. We also probably need a small hike sign there or a trail sign there to identify where people can, can find the trail if it's okay. not self-evident. But once you get it mowed, it probably would be self-evident. Yeah, thank you for your work on that. Ed. You're I, welcome. I know it's been long and sometimes meandering. And uh, to have something with teeth we can work with that goes through is terrific. So just to, I just want to clarify, so that that's where you have to go up Old Browncroft and pass the party house? Yeah, you're right. right. To get through, to get through to all the way to Empire Boulevard. Okay. But well, uh -huh. this creates another uh -huh. option for wa walking from Ellison Park 
all the way through by safely ducking under the road bridge at uh, Atlantic Avenue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Conservation Board, anyone? Eileen? They had a Zoom meeting yesterday, and um, they reviewed three sites. I discussed them with Ed. I drove by them and then discussed them with Ed. And there's only one that um, requires trails right now, and that's the one at 1801 Fairport, Nine Mile Line Road, that's Route 250, and it's just north of the Y and that new complex. There's going to be another complex going in with apartments and commercial. Hmm. And I don't know what, what you have in mind for trails there. Well, it, it, that'll be part of the, of the plan that's developed through the planning board. They're building a trail system in conjunction with the, with the uh, apartments that went in next door. Uh, it's also going to be the location of a daycare center. I think it's for, for the Y. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, that, that hasn't been approved yet by the planning board, so that's still in the planning stages. But there... <clears throat> That, that uh, public space will all be part of the plan that's put in place for all those properties. That's mixed-use development. Uh, the Conservation Board decided to issue no reports for the three properties they reviewed. The, the other item that Eileen didn't talk about is timber, timber harvesting proposal, and that they're going to spend some time on. That's just on early discussion stage. Yeah, they're, um, they're concerned about trees on any site that gets developed. And there's three sites where there's a proposal for a company to come in and harvest trees. And two of them are on off of Empire Boulevard, just south of Empire Boulevard. One is directly across from the new uh, complex at the south end of the bay. And the other one is, uh, I can't tell. Mm, there's one in Webster. Empire Storage, S-A-H-A-R-V-A-R-D-A-R, -A 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 timber, timber Stewards, your plan for Empire Boulevard and Penfield. And there's a lot of discussion of why they're doing it. In my experience, there's companies that contact owners that have timber land and uh, offer to come in and harvest the, the more mature trees in a conservation mine. If anybody wants more information, I've got paperwork and drawings and all that kind of stuff. Uh, trying to keep abreast of that situation as it develops. And then they, they pay the owners for the trees and they take the trees away that they've harvested. And this, this company looked pretty good. They were identifying the, the trees they were going to take out, and they were going to remove brush. Um, my parents had a wooded lot that was harvested once, and they just came in and, and took the trees out and left all the brush. They didn't do any clearing. They were contacted by a company that does that, a logging company. So this is a healthy thing for the habitat if it's done right, correct? Well, if someone oversees them, you know, what, what caliper tree are, trees are they taking down? Great big mature trees or anything goes? Do, do you know? Mature trees they, mature they trees? generally harvest. Yeah. To, to be determined. Oh, okay. And they're, what the <laughs> conservation board is looking for, everything to be marked. Right. right. So they can review everything before it gets that, That's a good idea. It gets felled. Two other items from the Conservation Board. They want to change their start time to 7.30 p.m. And they still haven't uh, had a site visit to the RIT site, so they're still working on that. And we'd like to accompany them with them on that. Carrie got busted. <laughs> I just trespassed. Yeah, do, you have any, do you have any more, any specifics or just generalizations about the timber easement, harvesting? RIT and easement oh, possibilities. Their, their proposal was accepted by the planning board, so they're forging ahead. It's just that nobody's done a walkthrough yet from the town. 
and from the conservation board. The conservation board wants to look at the whole property. Well, there's hope. That's being worked through the planning department. Thank you, thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Ed. Um, moving up on uh, some a new business item or something just to be emphasized within our our own trails committee and rec department. Uh, we have a, what we call a Wegman's passport program, in which uh, a rubbing post is marked on a, each of the trails that are participated in the passport book. And you prove that you were there by rubbing the post. What we want to make sure is um, this summer is that those posts and plates are in place, as they say they are, for the book holders to go to the star on the map. And yes, there is a rubbing plate. So we'll be working on quality control this summer on that very item. Uh, it's just a matter of credibility. Uh, for the passport program. Have we had issues in the passport that was going to disappear? They disappear. <laughs> they take the yes, plaque they do. off. <laughs> we, um, we, we ordered all new plaques um, with new uh, our new logo on it as well. And those came in two to three weeks ago. I gave those to Tim for the Parks Department to put out. And uh, with their busy schedule, I know that they're trying to get them all done. But I'd say by middle of June, they should all be in place. Um, hopefully, they stay there uh, and don't get damaged as much. But at least we all have backups as well if we do hear from any that, that aren't available. So, so we are stocked up and good to go for the Passport program again. Great news. Okay, this is a public participation open discussion and time to bring up stuff because we won't meet again until September 8th. And I know, Ed, you want to talk about sidewalks. Right. The sidewalk is supposed to be completed on Penfield Road going up the hill from the apartments past the General's Market, mm -hmm. which means that the Trails Committee needs to get busy and do a survey underneath Penfield Road to see what needs to be done to finish the trail that goes under there, because that will provide us with a link from tops up the hill to Coyote Den, and also a, an entrance to Allison Park. Ed, what side of the road is, is it on? The sidewalk is on the north, north side, side of the road, oh, okay. yeah. and it's partially finished. The rest of it's going to be done by Old Castle. It's on their property. Uh, there was a May gully washer back in 2016 uh, that Aratiquite Creek arose. That's correct. And washed out that trail that ran from the canoe launch behind tops underneath the bridge. So there is a substantial amount of work to make that reconnection, I can tell you that, as uh, the Boy Scouts had them finished for about one year, fishermen liked using them, and then along came the May 14th Friday night gully washer from Ohio, a significant one. That's why we need to do a survey for the planning department so they can get something in somebody's budget to repair that section of trail that got washed out. As I know, it's not in passable uh, condition right now. That takes us to the north side of the uh, Penfield Road Bridge, which will bring us out alongside the substation, and then we can go up the sidewalk from there. And we think that might connect to the section that would then allow us to continue to walk to the South Allison Park entrance, correct? Yeah, that's correct. There'll, there'll be sidewalk all the way then mm -hmm. along Penfield Road. All right, something to fo keep following up on. Yes, good thing. Um, anyone else? It's Another item floor. of business I reported last month on uh, number 25 Willow Pond Way. That project is proceeding slowly, but it is being done. <laughs> I walked it, and it looks like they're working on it. Well, they did. The, the base coat got finished, oh, and I man. believe they're working on the top coat now. I, I saw truckload of stuff come in today and, and a bobcat running around so 
Refresh us on the location, exactly. Pardon? Refresh us on this location. 25 Willow Pond Way. It's a six point something acre plot of ground that uh, serves uh, public access from all the little cul-de-sacs around uh, Willow Pond Way. This is the one we've been looking forward to being worked on, correct? Yes, that's correct. It, it's butts up against legacy property. Right, I know there was a lot of... Yeah, it's currently owned by Mark IV, yeah. And finger pointing about who was going to do it. Yes. Well, uh, uh, water, Watermark is, is doing the work. Uh, Mark IV still owns the property. But it's going to be updated to town standards. They're working with uh, Jim Costello in the engineering department to make sure that things get, get done the way they're supposed to. They don't have the drainage finished yet either, so every time it rains real hard, we get, we get an accumulation of water. Anything else, Ed? I don't think so. Excuse me. Terry. Uh, yeah, the, um, I must have missed an earlier meeting. The, Fourth of July parade, is that? Is there any discussion on that? Andrew, can we march in it? Um, yes, the parade is happening on July 3rd. It will begin at 10 a.m. in its normal route. Um, we're still waiting for the fireworks um, to make a decision on that. Hmm. Um, and as soon as a decision is made, we will communicate that to the public. Okay. But that will also be on July 3rd. Um, Probably more into the evening with the fireworks and possibly sure. concert, things like that, if that's part of the event as well. But again, that will be communicated as soon as the decision is made. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Somewhere between our ambition, our hiking boots, and all the signs we have, we'll make a uh, entrance into that parade. Thank you. Anyone else? Before we actually, we've got... Three hikes to lead this summer, but our next meeting is September 8th. Anyone got anything? Well, do we have people to run the hikes June? I'm doing it in August. I'm always, I will keep emailing everybody about uh, June and July. because it, I, know, I know personally I'm out of town June 12th, so I'm not available. Right. Well, let's remind everybody. June 12th, 9 o'clock Saturday, you drive all the way up Phillips Road so you can go no mm -hmm. farther because you're at the That's Lake right. Road intersection yep. in Webster. Mm -hmm. That's where the park entrance is, the parking lot. And we'll be working with Webster Parks. We're going to call Chris over there. Maybe we'll <laughs> get together with some Webster hikers. This is one of the most wonderful little two-hour uh, oh, habitat branches. hikes you can get in Monroe County. Baby. It's an excellent nice. Park, Four Mile Creek, Webster <laughs> Park. That's a nice park. Yeah. What kids will yeah. do. It's a nice park. Yeah. Okay, if we have nothing else, uh, we have a busy summer season to take care of. Committee, thank you very much. We never got the Christmas party in, but I'll be planning something to get together this summer instead for us for all your work. So until September 8th, you have a good summer. Tuck your cuffs into your socks when you're bushwhacking. Wells <laughs> Carmen from Penfield Trails Committee, have a good summer. <laughs> you too, no.